friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday, it's a Monday so it's meal prep day. I have three absolutely delicious recipes for you. We have breakfast, lunch, and a dessert item that is Troy, my husband, approved, which is saying a lot. So if you're excited for this meal prep, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do a meal prep every single Monday so you don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend having your macros done. It's really important to know what you should be eating every day to see the most success. And if you're interested in talking with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you in today's video, as well as all of my other favorite things are down in that description box, along with my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. So without further ado, let's jump into this really delicious WW meal prep. breakfast this week, I'm making breakfast tacos. You can do bacon, you can do sausage, but I'm going to use sausage in my tacos. I'm pretty excited about this. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some light shredded cheese, tortillas of your choice. I'm using the La Banderita carb counter. These are one point. So I'm going to figure points based on whatever tortilla you're using being one point per tortilla. You're also going to need some milk. You could do almond milk, low fat milk, salt, pepper, bacon or sausage, whatever your preference is. I'm going to use these Good and Gather apple and maple sausages. And then of course you're going to need some eggs. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the egg mixture made up. So you're going to need eight eggs. We're just going to crack them into a medium sized bowl. We're going to add a couple tablespoons of milk, salt, and pepper, and one and a half cups of light shredded cheese. And then with a whisk or a fork, go ahead and mix that all together. Here's what that egg and cheese mixture should look like. Now we're gonna go ahead and chop up our sausage. So I'm going to spray my pan here with some nonstick cooking spray for the egg mixture. And I have the cut up sausage cooking up here on the other burner. We're going to cook the egg mixture completely through, scramble that up so that we have some yummy, cheesy scrambled eggs. So I have everything ready to go for my breakfast tacos. First up is the scrambled eggs with cheese. These smell so cheesy and delicious. And then although these were pre-cooked, I went ahead and fried up those maple chicken sausages. I'm using the one point tortilla. And then I wanted to share with you guys a couple of add-ins or topping options. First up, you can add some salsa to your breakfast tacos for zero additional points. You can also add fresh avocado or these little avocado packets as well. Points I'm going to give you include just the basics, the tortilla, the sausage, and the eggy cheese mixture. I am going to put together one breakfast taco for you so you can see what the finished product looks like and then I will just package up the remaining eggs and sausage and divide that out over the course of the week. So very, very simple to put together. Go ahead and grab out your tortilla. The recipe makes a total of eight Taco. So eight days, or you can have two tacos per day. So you are going to want to divide up the egg mixture and the sausage mixture into eight equal servings. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in some eggs and then some of the chicken sausage. And again, you can add any toppings to this, but remember there is already cheese in the eggs. So if you didn't want to add toppings, you can just fold this up like a regular taco. You can roll this up like a burrito. 
lots and lots of options to eat your breakfast taco. This is just going to be a quick and simple breakfast and I like that you can customize it and add whatever toppings you want to it. So each one of the breakfast tacos, the shell, the eggs, the sausage, the cheese, is five points on the blue and purple plan and seven points on the green plan just because you do have to add in the egg. 226 calories, not bad at all. And like I said, you can pop in some salsa for really minimal calories and zero points. For lunch this week, I'm making cranberry apple quinoa salad. Like I mentioned in my grocery haul, I've just been craving quinoa. I don't know why, but it just sounds really delicious. So this is going to be kind of that sweet, savory pairing. It should be delicious and nice, clean, whole food ingredients. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need either honey or maple syrup, apple cider vinegar, reduced sugar or lower sugar craisins, garlic salt, Dijon mustard, chopped pecans, mine are from Nutstop. You guys know I always have 10% off for Nutstop down in the description box. Not an affiliate link, just a discount for you guys to help support a small business. And they just have so many great options on their website. So I have their chopped pecans. You're also going to need a medium sized apple, celery, quinoa. I just have some organic red quinoa. It's just pretty. So I bought the red, some oil and some salt and pepper. So the first thing we're going to do is get our quinoa cooking. So I have one cup of raw quinoa and I always like to cook my rice, quinoa, barley in chicken stock or some sort of a stock. It just adds really good flavor. So since I have one cup of raw quinoa, I'm going to do two cups of stock. We're going to get this cooking per package instructions on the stovetop. So I'm going to chop up some celery and my apple. You would also want to chop up your pecans if you didn't buy them pre-chopped. While the quinoa is cooking, we're going to make up the vinaigrette for our quinoa bowl. So I'm going to start with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of honey. You can also do maple syrup. You could even do sugar-free maple syrup or sugar-free honey, but I'm just going to use a regular honey. A tablespoon of olive oil or avocado oil approximately two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, some garlic salt, and salt and pepper. And then we're just going to stir this up and this will be that kind of sweet, savory vinaigrette for our quinoa bowl. I'm going to store my vinaigrette for the week just in one of these cute little mason jars. That way I can shake it up before I add it to my bowl throughout the week. So we're going to put together our bowls. The only things we're not adding are the pecans. Now you can toast these if you want them a little bit more crispy, but if we add these to the bowl and then it sits in the refrigerator, they're going to become a little soggy. So I'm just going to pop these into a little Ziploc bag and I'll just serve these per bowl as I put them together to eat. And then we're going to add our vinaigrette as well at the time that we're consuming the bowl. So to assemble the bowl, I'm going to start with a half of a cup of quinoa per bowl. Now we may go back and add more if we have extra. I'm not sure that we will. So I did go ahead and add half of a cup of cooked quinoa. And then I'm going to add some of the celery. And again, we're making six bowls. So we want to make sure we divide everything out into six servings. And then about a tablespoon or so of the cranberries. And then one sixth of the fresh apple. We will of course add in pecans as we go to eat the meal. But this looks so good. Let's put together the other five bowls and we'll go over points and calories. So 
So we are ready to go over points and calories. So let's go ahead and start with the quinoa bowl. Now the points and calories are going to include one sixth of the pecans and one sixth of the vinaigrette. So for the quinoa bowl, it is seven points on the blue and green plan and four points on purple because you do not have to count the quinoa, which is one of the main things that contributes to points. And that's a whole nother topic of discussion because quinoa is so good for you, but it is seven points on blue and green, four on purple, 231 calories. So again, those points and calories don't line up, but it is 231 calories per bowl, which is not bad at all. And everything in this is clean, whole food ingredients. So I'm excited to have this for lunch all week. For dessert this week, my husband, I have to say, is super excited for this. I am making a strawberry Greek yogurt cheesecake bar. So I'm excited for these. I am going to give you a couple of different ways that you can do this. So let's jump into what's in our recipe. You're going to need vanilla extract, salt. Here's one modification that you can make. So the original recipe actually calls for graham crackers mixed with butter and then put into an eight by eight pan to make more of a bar. I'm going to use a pre-made crust and we're going to make bars that looks like pie. And that's only because this is just one step, save some steps and actually ends up being the same points as if I used regular graham crackers and butter. So I'm going to save myself some time and use the Keebler Ready Crust. You're going to need one third less fat cream cheese, fresh yummy strawberries, non-fat Greek yogurt, flour, Sweetener of your choice, of course, as always, I have the monk fruit from Lakanto. I will link Lakanto down in the description box with 15% off for you guys and some eggs. The first thing I'm going to do is chop up and hull some strawberries. We want about three ounces total for our recipe, and this is actually 32 ounces. So just a small amount of strawberries, I'm just going to pop them here in a bowl. So we're gonna start putting together the cheesecake filling. So in my bowl here, I added six ounces of the one third less fat cream cheese. I'm going to add two tablespoons of all purpose flour, half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, one third cup of my Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, one full egg, and then we're going to add one egg white and six ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt. And with our handheld mixer, we're just going to mix this together until nice and fluffy. Into the pie crust, we're going to add all of that cheesecake mixture, and I'm just going to spread that out nice and even in the pie crust, or if you're using regular graham crackers and butter, just make sure you spread it evenly in an eight by eight baking dish. Of course, I will link the original recipe that I pulled this from on my recipe website if you wanna recreate it more into bar form. And I also did change up, of course, some of the ingredients to make it WW and calorie friendly. We're going to put our cheesecake in at 350 50 degrees until it's firm. We don't want it super jiggly and then we're going to go ahead and pull it out of the oven and put together the strawberry topping. Cheesecake is out of the oven. You can tell that it's nice and firm which is exactly what we were wanting. So I'm just going to set it aside here while we do the strawberry. So I have those chopped and hold strawberries. I have eight ounces of the non-fat Greek yogurt and then we're going to add a couple tablespoons of our Lakanto sweetener and once again with our handheld mixer we're going to mix this together it'll become a creamy strawberry goodness so to my strawberries I am going to go ahead and add my eight ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt and then just a couple tablespoons of sweetener and then with our handheld mixer or food processor we're just going to mix this until it becomes a creamy texture. So I decided to keep a little bit of my strawberries whole. Now again, you can pulse them into just a creamy texture, whatever your preference is. And we're just going to add that strawberry goodness to the top of our cheesecake. 
And again, if you did make this in a bar pan, you would just cut this into bar sizes. I'm just going to cut mine into slices, just again, saving time with the pre-made crust. So there is the strawberry cheesecake. This looks so delicious. We are going to cut this into nine servings. So again, if it wasn't an eight by eight pan, you would do three rows of three bars, but I'm just going to slice my pie bars into nine servings. It is only four points per serving on the blue and purple plan and six points on green, just because you do have to count for the eggs and the non-fat Greek yogurt on the green plan. It's only 198 calories per bar slice. So that is not bad at all. We both cannot wait to dig into this all week. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW calorie friendly meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes that I shared with you today. Don't forget all of my recipes are always on my website. I'll link that at the top of the description box for you. In the description box, you'll also find nutrition coaching, links, discounts to everything I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things. And of course, my Facebook group, come on over, join us there as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps out my channel. And of course I appreciate it. And if you're new and you're not part of our community, we'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it. So you don't miss a single video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Monday. And I'll see you in Wednesdays. What I eat in a day. Bye.